So this is the seventh video I'm doing on the gallery reading that Thomas John did in late September 2023. It's the seventh video, but it's actually the sixth reading because there was one reading um, that was not a reading. It was a question somebody asked and allowed me to make a video about the mortician that was in Seatbelt Psychic. So check out the playlist. I find it really helpful to watch multiple readings in a row. And so in this gallery experiment, it was like the first hour of a two hour um, gallery reading with 114 people in attendance. And Thomas John has read one, two, three, four, five. This is the sixth. So he's given six readings so far. Okay, so six readings, there's 114 people there. Um, a couple of these were psychic readings and not medium readings, mediumship readings. So he's just doing psychic stuff. This reading I'm going to show you right now is a psychic reading. All of them are really different from each other. And it's, as I said, I like to see uh, readings in, in a, you know, in con... I don't want to say not in context, but multiple readings, one after another, after another, I think you get a much better feel for the time, the place, the, and the psychic and, and the environment and everything that was happening with the psychic. Now, I don't know if you could possibly sit there and watch six or seven videos at a row of, with my analysis, which would probably be hours worth of listening. I, I don't think I could do it. So I doubt you're going to be able to do it. And but I do think it's valuable to have these done. So I'm trying to be complete and get them all done. And this is the last, I believe, of the Thomas John videos in this series. They're, I, unbeknownst to myself and everybody else who was attending the, the event, um, it was a two-hour event with Thomas John doing gallery readings. But after the reading that I finish right now, I'm going to do for you, I'm going to show you. He just says, I'm out of here. He says, I wrote this down. I've got to go to my other Zoom event. My thing that came up. That's all he says. My thing that came up. And he says, bye. And then there's a new medium there. And it's a medium named Cheryl Murphy, who I'd never heard of before. So I'm hoping to do some videos on Cheryl Murphy, whether I get to those soon or if it's going to take me a while. I don't know. But she's a, she's a medium I've never seen before, other than the day that I was there watching all this unfold along with a lot of my team members okay so let's get to this one this one's a little longer but it's dramatic and i think that it's it's interesting because it's like reading a dear abby <laughs> column and <laughs> you just are shouting at the screen you're like what are you doing? Leave this guy. You know, what? why are you asking Thomas John? And he's making, it's just, you just feel like you're screaming at it. From one woman to another, we're like, oh my gosh, there are so many red flags in this that you just can't believe how many that are happening at the time that this woman is, is talking to Thomas John. All right. So all Thomas John is going to tell her is he's drawn to her to give her a reading because she's the person who's having drama with, I think his name is Daryl or Derek or something like that. And then that's all he needs. That's all he's looked up. There's nothing else. And her name is Victoria H. I didn't blur her name because how are you going to find Victoria H? I blurred her. There's not a lot, you know, um, I didn't I didn't pixelate her really, really, really so you couldn't see her at all. I just kind of pixelated her. And I tell you, it was really interesting the way this this unfolds. So let's watch it together. It is a little longer, but like I said, it is it's interesting because there's a lot of a lot of drama in there. The story is very interesting. Now, before I get to any further, he's gonna say. I'm drawn to you because you're having, or um, he says, there's somebody here who's having a lot of drama with and names the guy's name, Daryl or Derek or whatever. And she says, that's me. And then he has her pull up on the screen and, and that's her. 
Okay. How did he know it was her boyfriend named Darren or Daryl or whatever? How did he know? Well, what you see and I see right now are just a video screen. Um, it's speaker view. So in other words, we only see when somebody's pulled up on the screen and we can see them talking. But Thomas John can see people the entire time because he can see all the little squares. And when he's actually doing a reading, he probably pins the person to the screen so that they're the largest on there. And they only show whenever they're speaking. And then when he's speaking, he's the prominent one, but he can see her the whole time. He can also see the chat. And he's been talking about it through the last hour of, you know, being able to look at the chat or I'm not looking at the chat. And of course, he's looking at the chat. So it's very likely. And I think that this is probably the most likely, re most likely explanation of how he knew that somebody was experiencing some kind of drama with somebody named Darren or Derek or whatever. And it's because she wrote it in the chat. Remember, there's a hundred plus people that are at this event. So they're talking to each other, the different um, people who are in this Zoom event, 113 people, 114 people, and eight of them have, well, seven of them have had a reading at this point. So the, what is the rest of them going to be doing? The 93 other people, they're chatting, they're talking to each other and, and, and so on. So it's very likely that she said something about her, um, the drama she's experiencing. So, so don't get all freaked out and say, how in the heck did he know that he missed a hot redder? I think there's no hot reading going on at all. This is just drama. And, and she's telling the story. He's agreeing and saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want you to think about what's missing. I want you to think about what kind of harm this is. And let's, let's just check this out. All right. Cause, oh my gosh, um, we're here because we want to learn. And this is how you learn. You sit down and you analyze and you watch these. So remember now, if you like this kind of, um, these kinds of, uh, videos where we're going to great depth and we learn, um, together, Please like and share my videos, leave comments. I'm happy to respond to the comments. You guys see things that I don't usually see, and it's always very interesting. I'm learning from you as well. So here goes Victoria, and I'm calling this at the moment, Run, Victoria, Run. Um, ba, 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 ba. Um, okay, so now I want to, who on this call is having a drama with Daniel? That's me. <laughs> That's my boyfriend. Uh, who was that? Uh, Victoria. Victoria? Okay, dear. Um, are you having a drama with him? Yep. Okay. Major. <laughs> oh, they're saying you're having a drama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So is that what you want to ask about if I pulled you up? I did. Yes. Sure. Thank you. All right. So let me read what I see and then, um, um, then you can ask me things. Okay. Okay. How long have you been together? Um, a year now. You guys were doing good, but you went down the ship drain on in July. <laughs> yep. Yours. Yep. That's pretty much <laughs> when things started. You said that you guys were doing great. Everything was fine. You were like, okay. Mm -hmm. Probably so weird in May, but then in July, it's like, yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. Um, <laughs> these problems are actually affecting you, um, being attracted to him in a weird way. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Almost shifting how you, you know, like they say, you can't unsee things, you know? 
Totally. <laughs> so you're kind of, you've seen things and now you're like, it's hard for you to unsee them because you saw yep. them. Yeah. Yeah. It's like hard to trust now. Mm -hmm. Is he the, is, is he the one that's all screwed up about finances or is that you? I can't tell. He is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because there's somebody is like almost like delusional about finances or they don't, it's like they don't get the concept of money. I thought that was probably him. Mm -hmm. Is that bothering you? Well, it's like we argue about that a lot, just like how I want to live my life versus how he wants to live his life. So oh. that kind of was one of our, our arguments for a while, like where we would live, you know, he doesn't think we can afford where we live. And um, that was a major. So he's wanting to kind of cut back and, and, and it's kind of like you almost have different perspectives on life. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that was kind of what started in July, but then things got other issues came up. Okay. So now you're into more, that was kind of the beginning of things. That was the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. They're definitely showing trust issues more now. Major, but I don't know. Yeah. Oh, did you catch him lying about something? Yeah. I caught him with caught him messaging girls and um caught him one night when he went out and he asked some girl out on a date mm -hmm. saw it in his messages i hadn't ever um i never looked in his phone before so of course my mind is spinning yeah this is and i'm like this doesn't you know who knows what else has been going on but yeah mm -hmm. i'm just not sure what to do what's is there a way to rebuild the trust you know very stressed right now. <laughs> does he know you know that? Oh yeah. I confronted him. And what does he say? Well, he denied it at first and then I contacted the girl that he was messaging and um, she admitted to it. She told me, she wouldn't reveal any much, but she did confirm they'd been messaging for over a year Mm -hmm. um she was sending him photos on instagram mm -hmm. and so yeah I, he denied it and now he's i don't know he responded with anger and you know he just doesn't he doesn't want to talk about it anymore mm -hmm. so it's kind of like i can't really discuss it right it looks like you are still within the range of energy where you could talk about this and work things out mm -hmm. but it looks like that is ending like within the next two weeks and it doesn't look like he's going to talk to you about it yeah. so then you would be transitioning more into ending the relationship yeah sort of yeah, there's a fr there's a free will energy here where he'd eat if he actually if you guys actually talked about things i think you could work things out and you have other types of relationships uh, you have other parts of your relationship that are good mm -hmm. what's kind of unfortunate in a way because i feel that um you, there's good there is some good here but it looks like because you guys don't talk about it and it, it's almost like um i don't know if you had these when you were a kid but there would be those books and it would be like if you turn to page 52 and then you'd read the part there and then you had two options and you could turn to another page it'd be like follow mm -hmm. along yeah <laughs> so i feel like if you guys actually talk and work through this it, you could rebuild and you're still in that energy but psychically mm -hmm. i don't see him doing that mm -hmm. yeah i'm kind of thinking More, it's probably uh, then. You know, obviously there's a level of this, but there's a, there's a defense. There's a, I don't know if it's narcissism, but he's. I kind of think so too. But you know, people that are narcissists that are, that, that have narcissistic qualities that are, you know, that are, it, it's not like everybody that's a narcissist is a, is a serial killer or something. Totally. Like totally. Yeah. All have features of that. His yeah. is a little bit more. Um, and I think that's why he kind of snapped at you and stuff, but I don't, I just feel like now the interesting thing is Victoria, you do have love coming in. That's weird. Cause I, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh um, yeah. You're good. There's something. Yeah. You're going to meet somebody else. There is somebody mm -hmm. coming in Victoria. When do you think? Pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A few months after you leave this guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great.
He's done this in the past with other people. Yep. I think that, does he have kids? Yep. I think he cheated on his that person too. Or something. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> and, and I'm gonna say psychically, I don't know if he full fledged cheated. I'm not really seeing that. I mean, I don't think so. Yeah, it's more emotional flirtation. His thing is, is he likes the attention. You know, that's what I think too. Yeah, he likes the attention, but it's still very unhealthy and. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's kind of like they were saying at the very beginning of the reading, something was seen and now you can't unsee it, you know? So I thought it was the finances, but I'm thinking now it's more this. It's almost like you can't unsee what you saw. So now, you know, so. Totally. You're so spot on. There's another guy coming in. Yeah. When do you think? It just as soon as he gets out of the way and he's going to stomp his feet and be a pain. But I would say it would be like a couple months later. It won't be okay. long. Okay, great. Thank you so yeah, much. Because you guys were on a nice little track together, I feel like. I but. know. It's, a, it's like, it's really is yeah. super sad. Yeah. So, yeah. all right. Best okay, of luck to you. you. Okay. Okay. So that was really interesting. It went a lot faster than you would think because there was um it was it's engaging i guess you might say so let's go through this a little bit more in detail because this is an unhealthy relationship this woman has had a year with daniel is his name and thomas john has done thousands of readings and over time you just get really good at understanding and seeing the trajectory of a relationship and you start feeling like you know, you probably could give advice because you just kind of become wise because you've talked to so many people about so many unhealthy relationships as I'm sure he has. So I'm not saying that he's giving great advice, but I'm just saying that he probably understands the timing better than a lot of other people would. She's been with him a year. She's already upset and she's complaining and stressed about it. So it probably took a little bit of time before the the really bad part started happening where she's just ready to kick him to the curb. And so the summer sounds about right whenever he's, um, we're in late September, whenever this reading has actually been done. So I'm not really shocked about, about her saying March or, or July, and she's saying, you're spot on. She's, she's agreeing to pretty much everything he says throughout the whole time. She just continues agreeing because why not this? He's pretty vague. And um, Thomas John is making statements that are Barnum statements. They're just big statements that apply to most anybody. So let's go through this a little bit more. I'm sure all the women out there who are watching this are, is looking at this going run Victoria run, right? this is so unhealthy um she agrees to just about everything and he seems to be leaning towards if you can get him to communicate with you in the next couple of weeks because there's a very small window of time that we have left if you can get him to communicate with you then maybe this relationship can be saved and like i said all of the rest of us are all going no don't save it no <laughs> They're, oh my gosh it's just awful the whole thing it's like oh my goodness you know like dear abby it's more like a carolyn hacks i don't know if you read those she writes for the washington post and it's in this sounds like something right up her alley <clears throat> or dear amy same kind of thing so i love how he mentions narcissism and how not all narcissists are murderers really sounds like you have some experience in that thomas john Google him, by the way. Um, Thomas Stone asks a lot of questions. He says, did he have children? And other questions, how long have you guys been together? And on and on. So Thomas Stone asks a lot of questions that probably, if you're really in touch with her and you're in touch with spirit who's giving you advice, these are basic questions you probably shouldn't be asking. You should just know, I would think, right? Um. And, and he's making a lot of assumptions based on her. Remember, he can see her the whole time. We can only see when she's speaking. So 
he can see her body language and if she's agreeing whenever he's talking and if she's smiling and if she's like, I don't know, that's, con I don't re quite know what he's talking about. That doesn't make sense. So he's able to continue with the cold reading. This is a cold reading where, and using her body language, her feedback and her expressions and so on, we don't get to see all of it. We only get to see the little bit that we see. So keep that in mind. He's making assumptions. He's like, like I said, he's assuming that, and she's assuming that he knows what he's talking about. He says she, the guy's cheated before and he cheated on his ex, um, the mother of his children. And she's like, yeah, that sounds right. That sounds like him. We don't know that. What if he didn't? And it's, you know, is that fair to this man? Is it, poor Daniel? Does it, <laughs> I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't get a word in this. No. So all of this is just like assumptions Thomas John is making, and he's just going with whatever she seems to be agreeing to. Um, I'm thinking that, you know, this is also a very unhealthy relationship, as well as the reading, getting a reading from a psychic medium about your relationships. That's unhealthy. Here's a, another thing I thought. He's saying to her, you just leave him. There's another guy waiting for you. You're going to get another relationship. As soon as you get this guy gone, as long as Dan, as soon as you get rid of Daniel, there's another relationship waiting for you. And she's like, oh, okay. All right. You know, win. <laughs> kind of doesn't make it sound like she's really in love with this guy. Um, she says he's been texting this other woman uh, and she's been sending him pictures, Daniel pictures for over a year. And he's been asking people out on dates and, and on and on. They've only been together for one year. And yet he's been, he's been in a relationship, emotional or otherwise, with this other woman for over a year. It's kind of like, mm, I think this probably should go. But the most important thing, like what is missing? Well, obviously he didn't have any information that was specific. He didn't say much more about him except that his name is daniel does he even know where she lives does he know anything no he's not a trained counselor this is not a person who should be giving advice to anybody it's not okay and then let's talk about how dangerous it is when a woman exits or not only a woman but when a relationship breaks up it's not always safe and she insinuates, insinuated at the beginning of it that he was becoming physical with her. And I can't quite remember the verbiage of it. I've seen this videos multiple times, been a, blending into other videos. But she makes it sound like it's getting ugly and, and threatening in ways. She kind of said that at the beginning. And then at the end of this call, um, Thomas John says, Daniel, he snapped at you and stuff. I don't know. He, he uses that phrase all the time and stuff. But he said, I'm laughing. I'm not really laughing, but I'm laughing at the absurdity of using the word and stuff. He snapped at you and stuff. Is Victoria really telling him the truth? Has, there been, has he been physical with her? Is it dangerous for her to leave this relationship? They are living together because, I mean, it's only been a year, but we know that they're living together because she talks about money and, and the finances and that he thinks that we can afford a better place or a bigger place or a lesser place or whatever. So they're, they're living together. And Thomas John just kind of flippantly like, get rid of the guy. And there's going to be another guy coming along. To Victoria, is it safe for her to just get rid of him? Is this a domestic violence potential uh, problem where if she just says, you know, I'm out of here. I talked to a medium today. He told me you've been cheating on me. He, you've been cheating on your ex, you, uh, you know, on the mother of your children and you're awful with finances and, and all the stuff. And um, I need to leave you because there's another guy waiting for me. That's what the psychic told me today. So the, you know, Thomas John, he's a star and everything. So you got to go. 
by Daniel. You know, okay, Daniel's, we don't know what kind of situation that is. And Daniel might say, wait a second, that's not true. I'm actually very stable with money. And I didn't, I did not cheat on my ex-wife or my ex-girlfriend, the mother of my child. And no, I have not been. Um, maybe I have been flirting a little bit with other people, but it's only to get you jealous. Or And, and I really, you know, I, I think we need to work this out. It's not really fair to Daniel not to be able to hear him out. And if he thinks that he's he's being supplanted by another guy that's coming around in a couple in a couple months, if Daniel has um if Daniel gets handsy and and um violent with her, this may escalate it. Thomas didn't mention anything about it, but when you're exiting a relationship, an unhealthy relationship that sounds unsafe like this one does you have to have an exit plan you have to have um, you may need to call a domestic violence helpline and they'll help you figure out how to get out of that relationship but just leave them and um, move on to the next guy is is very flippant disrespectful irresponsible and he has no business giving people advice like that it's He's not communicating with the dead, but he's also not a counselor, especially somebody who should be advising somebody in a situation that could be potentially dangerous like this. And I'm not a counselor and I probably have, you know, no more experience than anybody else than the average person. And I'm just saying, you got to be careful when you're giving people advice. You don't know the whole story. You don't know this woman. So, you know, that's that's how I think about it. I don't know what you guys think. I'm sure you guys have better comments and you see things in a different way than I would see. I uh, You guys always leave me great comments. Please go ahead and leave me more. I would be happy to answer as many as I can. Um, as I said before, Thomas John leaves this, this very quickly. He says, I'm out of here. I've got to go do my thing that came up another zoom call my thing that came up and he's out of here and here all of a sudden is this other medium cheryl murphy who nobody knows like what <laughs> so i um will probably analyze her videos if you want to look for them on the the channel i will get those up as soon as i can I am always happy to look at your analysis please send me your videos please send me your audio um, I'm, I'm happy to look at these things. The, if you're going to leave comments, please actually pay attention and watch the video before you leave comments. Just today, just today, just an hour ago, a woman was telling me on Facebook that she's had so many problems with Thomas John rescheduling and not showing up for his appointments and on and on. But he told her something really like spot on one time when she saw him, she came up, he came up to her and he said this thing and it was accurate. And he said something to her friend and it was just perfect spot on. So she knows he's the real deal. I have done probably 50 videos on Thomas John, multiple articles on Thomas John on and on and on showing my work here is the screenshot here is the audio for it here's the video of it here is the fact f-a-c-t the facts and this woman just has some flippant attitude like well he told me something really accurate once so therefore you don't know what you're talking about susan it's beyond disrespectful i'm not I'm not doing this for my health. I have this, I'm doing this for people to educate them and to get people interested in this world of understanding. And when people come to me and they just cannot get over, they cannot, they can't even watch the video, can't even read the article. That's so disrespectful to just have an opinion on something that they have no idea what they're, what they're commenting on. In fact, I believe there was a 
comment on on, uh, on a, another feed of another psychic. It wasn't. It was on Facebook, I think. And somebody said, I haven't watched the video yet, but I think that this is probably a really good thing. If this woman helps out the police to solve a crime, I think that's fantastic. The person had the nerve to say, I haven't watched the video. <laughs> and they're just commenting. You're like, what's wrong with you people? Can we just have a little respect for each other to at least hear them out if you can, you know, before you comment you can walk away you don't have to comment on everything anyway it's getting late over here in california i am been doing this all day this is video like nine thousand, over nine thousand by now today and it feels like it i have to watch these videos over and over and over and get them clipped and get them you know it's 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 a little old for a while I think I'm going to spend the day tomorrow in my garden because I need to feel like I'm back with the flowers and wow. Anyway, I hope you guys understand everything, ask questions, and I hope you really enjoyed it. I do really do indeed enjoy spending time with you guys and spending time understanding these videos. So please like, share, comment, hit the little bell, ding so that you can get a notification whenever I've uploaded a new video and take good care of yourself. Breathe a lot and go spend time with the flowers.